What's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> Home Depot. We're at my favorite place in America. We're at Home Depot because we're going to buy some stuff to build some stuff. I brought this tape measure with me so I can put it on my hip and I can look like I know what I'm doing. Let's go inside and load up a shopping trolley and get this underway. We're building a PVC pipe thing for skateboarding slash snowboarding. So that's what we're doing right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if we make it eight foot, we can use the scraps to build legs. We don't need to buy an extra piece. Does that make sense? Okay, then it yeah. It all makes sense, I promise. Guys. No, yeah. Oh, look at this handyman. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. So since there's no three inch PVC pipe at this Home Depot, I'm gonna be forced to use the Valencia which is significantly more expensive. So yeah, it's not gonna be as cheap as I would have expected. I think I used this last time when I built one of these though. The plan is to drill a hole straight through the two, two by four into the ABS pipe, put this in there, and then you get a washer and a bolt. So it's like secure, secure. It beats like just screwing in wood screws. So I want this to last, my last one broke. I think we got everything we need. We got these lengths of timber cut to size, same with the PVC pipe, got all the fasteners. As you can see, we're gonna use a scrap as feet. I hope it's high enough off the ground, it should be. It's just like this. And then the PVC pipe is on top. Yeah, that's pretty mellow. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's it. It's a fly rake so we can groom whatever snow. And yeah, see if there's any better snow shovels here because I broke mine. Look. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, will it fit? We know it fits because we just did this a second ago. <laughs> Look at that. I wouldn't recommend though. How am I going to see anything? You had to buy a new show, show snubble. For the whole of this Home Depot, there's only two people checking out. And I've come here twice before and tried to like use the checkout as a self checkout to only realize it's not a self checkout and it's been very embarrassing. So, yeah, <laughs> they make their checkouts look like a, a self checkout. That's it. So, this is a basic mock up of what we're trying to achieve. Um, yeah, nothing's screwed together. So, I've got to get this all screwed together. And as you can see, it's going to make quite the fun. Uh, little i mean it's probably better for snowboarding because you have these big legs hanging out i'm just gonna throw like snow on top of it so you don't clip it <laughs> is this some macgyver <laughs> shit huh you know macgyver yeah ah. Ah. A little bolt in there and put the other way around. It's kind of crooked, but it'll do the job. Ideally, I wanted it to look like this on both ends, but you know, you got to take what you can get in the uh, construction trade. You need to put the... <laughs> oh, so, got the rail slash ABS pipe, PVC, whatever you want to call it here. We found a spot on the hill. That was a shovel I didn't fight. Um, yeah, this is... 20 minutes of manifestation and shoveling to get this happening right here. Put the rail here, a little bit of a lift to get on it. And then, yeah, 
I'm just trying to clear out the powder because it's super powdery. We bought a shovel, we bought a rake, so park crew is here <laughs> to uh, get the park sorted for everybody. parking structure and uh, we have the flat bar here that you see me snowboarding on a few minutes ago so hopefully we're going to get a few tricks show you these things snowboardable and skateboardable and then yeah it really wasn't that hard to build you guys seen it took two carriage bolts and then some screws so this is a way simpler version of the one I built last time So this is the flat bar, just to reiterate, consists of two carriage bolts down the center here. Where'd they go? Oh, they're on the ends, I thought they were for the feet. Two carriage bolts at either end for the, this bit of wood, and then just some wood screws in the feet there, and it's done. If you're a beginner, it might be a bit daunting having to ollie before the feet. If you can push through that wall, you're sweet. Otherwise, you've got to pop from the middle, and wherever you pop from, you only get on like a foot away. You have to kind of size it up so it works for you. But yeah, couldn't be happier with this. It would have cost more, but when we were checking out from Home Depot, the guy scanned the barcode on this and I guess it didn't register in the system because it wasn't on the receipt. So this is a $48 piece of Valencia pipe. Um, like I said, there was no PVC pipe, so that would have been the first option. So all up, it cost like 40 bucks for the wood and the screws and stuff. So yeah, this is a fun backyard little muck around on rail if it's raining where you live and you can find some cover like we have here if you have a crew that like takes stuff down to like a local basketball court or car park this thing would be perfect so yeah if you have any questions on how i built this just let me know and uh yeah on your way back bring me his son on, 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 on your way back